Free three-wheeler. We got a free three-wheeler today. It's been sitting for 10 years. Uh, the reason why it was sitting is it didn't have a pull start. So I done that. That took most of the day because that was full of rust and just nasty, nasty stuff because it was left out in the weather and that filled with water. Uh, but I got that done. Even got the little uh, starter pull thing in order. So I've done that and also got the rear drums unseized. Who seized the rear wheels wouldn't move. Uh, I've taken the gas tank off and I've shaken quite a bit of rust out of there. I went ahead and put some nuts. I like the castellated nuts for this. This seems like they're sharper. More things to chip rust away. So I put these in there and just shake it up. Just shake it. Get some good music going. You see it's got holes in it. I'm going to have to coat the inside of that with fiberglass. Fiberglass resists gasoline. Awesome. Just have to make sure to find a stick or plug or something that fits this really well uh, so that it doesn't come out. And then you got to put duct tape on the outside here. And then just roll the fiberglass all around in there. And uh, it does an amazing job. It creates its own little gas tank within the inside of the gas tank. It's not just like paint to stick. It actually kind of forms a tank inside the tank. So anyway, we've got that to do, and uh, also when you go to press the throttle, you can see when I take this off that it uh, the cable moves fine, but it's seized in there. There's so much rust and so much yuck that it's just stuck. See, watch when I push on the throttle, you can see that wiggles. So I've got it soaking in... Uh, sea foam and we'll let that sit overnight and see if that'll loosen up at all i'm hoping it does because i don't want to i've invested eight dollars into it and quite a bit of time uh, but eight dollars for the handle and the rope and we'll see if we can make this thing get after it found the headlight for it it was looking like that when i got it um, but yeah back wheels move another issue that seized up you know which is just common if something's been sitting and uh, I did actually get it to run it does have spark <laughs> but uh, I can't get the thing to go into neutral you see there's that indicator there I can't get it to go into neutral and I don't know what that's all about and uh, I've checked it and it is in about first gear and if I remember right pushing down several times should get that to go into neutral and Surely Temple, if that doesn't get that to go the right direction toward the end, but uh, it just isn't getting there. So maybe it just won't have neutral, I don't know. Uh, but otherwise, the, the tires, it's the son of a gun, they hold air, and they're doing great. And they've got some tread on them, so this might be a fun little rally machine, or might uh, do it as a, a gift project or something like that maybe get it up and running and then uh, gift it to somebody or something I don't know we'll see they don't sell for much around here they only sell for like 200 bucks 500 bucks I read a book that is called Earth Abides and the guy had to you know it's about he gets bit by a rattlesnake or something so he's all surviving this plague that nobody else is there's a baby that's crying it survives because it's hyperventilating it has to do with heart rate to survive this thing or not he just talks about how his behaviors go from, uh, you know, he's got a station wagon, he's got a backup motorcycle, he's like ultra paranoid or whatever. And then he, you know, he chills out and then he finds that he's hoarding things. He wants seven copies of the same magazine because it's free and he likes that issue or whatever. But all these psychological things that he goes through and then the part where I'm getting to it, I'm getting to it. Uh, he has to, you know, learn how to do the batteries on cars and learn how to do gas tanks and all that kind of stuff. Because as time goes by, these things just go to crap. And then you, what are you going to do? So, but anyway, th this is kind of a fun little project for me uh, because it's like, you know, what if, you know, 10 years after society crumbles down and I survive out of everybody, I smile. But that would just be my own personal hell. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'd like that. I'd do fine. I'd survive and whatnot, but yeah, I'd get lonely. But uh, anyway, uh, just a fun thing. You know, if this thing sat for, can I make it go? That's the that's the quest here. It's not worth it financially, obviously. I have better things to do, but I just, yeah, there's this romance with being able to take something that's a lost cause and bring it back from the beyond. Ha ha ha. Frankenstein. So, anyway.
challenge is on. I'm going to go for it, see what happens. But I don't want to put a lot of money into it. So the carburetor is kind of a make it or break it thing. And this kind of was too, you know, if the engine was good. I did pull the spark plug out, cleaned it, uh, sprayed uh, starting fluid down the hole. And with my new pull rope, I was able to get it to start up and run. So I know the engine's good. That was the first make or break in my uh, operations management structure diagram, critical chain diagram, whatever, for doing this. The next one's going to be the carburetor.